Hello everyone, it is me, Frank Jeff C, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a bubblegum base. So first what you do is you click on sampler, you right click it, and then you go to replace, and then you go to 3x OSC, which is the fanciest synthesizer that FL Studio has to offer. Click that shit. Now you'll have this, and it should sound something like... It sounds like an organ, which is a good thing. So let's create a simple PC sounding beat because why not? So PC beats, I'm gonna do it in D major because I like the D major. So let's do some triplets, some of that, and then I guess I'll go up, I think it's like a third. Yeah, because if it's major, it's a third and it should be a sharp. And then I'll go up a little bit right here. Da, da, da. And then this part goes da, 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 da. And it should sound pretty cool. Yeah, so that sounds like a PC beat, I guess. I wouldn't know. I don't listen. So now that we have our synth, we should notice what everything does. This right here makes it go left and goes right, and sometimes only a little bit left and sometimes only a little bit right. Right click and click reset to make it reset. And then this one is, you can fucking I'm in the future and then this is called a pitch since this number says two It's only gonna go up two semitones, but if we bring it up to like 48, it'll go super high Okay, let's lower that because we don't need that here are your oscillators. Let me lower this, this is annoying Here are your oscillators. You can click this to invert your first oscillator But don't do that because that doesn't really do anything. This is also your phaser if you want it to phase from stereo that's kind of cool if you want really stereo stuff. Here's my favorite, the stereo detune. So let's slide this up by like 30%. And it makes the beat sound just fatter. And let's turn it into a square and it'll sound even fatter. Too high. If you think this synth is too high, raise your hand. Because I think it's too high. So you can go to this part right here and lower the semitone. And now it sounds more like a bass. Now here's your second oscillator. We can turn this one into a triangle, give it more of like some triangle vibes. See, so now it sounds more like a bubble, but it's not perfect yet. It's not a real bubble. We have to go to this setting right here, instrument properties, click on that. And you see this, it's like volume, cut, rest, pitch, pan. That's just basically how like it's a envelope for those different things. So go to volume and lower everything because you don't need any of this shit. All them go down. And then this one right here is called the decay time. Slowly rise it up. Ah uh, yeah, now it kind of sounds like the picture in the background. It sounds like balls. And now here's my favorite thing. You see this? This is called miscellaneous properties. Go to polyphony, click porta, and slide your portamento time up a little bit. And it makes it sound even more bubbly and gummy and futuristic PC music beats. Also, you can make it deeper if you want by clicking on this. No, wrong, wrong way, this way. Aw, yeah. This beat is so fat. It's so fat that it's probably gonna die before the age of 55. So yeah, here's like a beat I made out of the bass that I taught you how to make. It goes a little something like this.
for watching this video all the way through. I am going to fuck it up by adding some lyrics to it soon, so check out my SoundCloud and check out my Bandcamp and give me some money to pay off my student loans. I want to thank y'all for subscribing. I like you.